Okay, John Levy here with Nick Clearwater, Senior Director of Teaching Quality at Golf Tech. We're talking about Swing True today. So Nick, we've seen this on our website. You've been on the Golf Channel talking about this. Talk about it in real life. What is Swing True? Sure, so Swing True is a, it's a measurement study that we've conducted. So we've taught millions of lessons. We've measured so many golfers and we took a small slice of that data we've collected, about 20,000 swings. And then we correlated how those 20,000 different golfers in their individual swings how they move when they swing relative to their handicap level to come up with a correlative study of what's really important in golf. So for this study, Nick, we've highlighted six positions specifically. You want to talk about those? Sure. Uh, well, let me give you one for an example. Uh, one that's really misunderstood throughout the industry and it, it would really help a lot of golfers play better as it's one of the most highly correlated to being good at the game. And that's just how your hips move when you swing. So we measure the hips at Golf Tech for every golfer that we see. And the best golfers, on average, keep their hips more towards the target throughout the backswing and at impact than the poorest golfers or the golfers who are less skilled. The less skilled golfers move their hips about two inches further away from the target on the backswing and have them two inches further away from the target when they actually hit the ball. So that's the beginning. That's a really good formula. That's as solid of a formula as you can get to hitting behind the ball be to move your hips to the right and keep them there on the downswing. So that's a, a big problem that plagues weekend golfers is hitting behind the ball. And it's also the beginning of re having a resultant swing direction that's leftward of the target and slicing. And that's really interesting because, you know, everything people are taught and everything we hear for years and years is load up behind the ball, coil behind the ball, get your weight loaded to that right side. Yes, when you measure real golfers though, making real swings, trying to hit a real golf shot, it just doesn't hold up though it doesn't hold up under any sort of scrutiny and measurement. Whatsoever. Why don't you go ahead and demonstrate for us? Yeah, so the worst golfers when they play, uh, or from just a lack of understanding in the backswing, they try to move their weight into their right leg or really try to coil up into their right side and then uh, tend to, as a result, keep it further away from the target on the way down, which is the beginning of hitting behind the ball and slicing. So a lot of weekend golfers, and you might recognize this yourself, move away from the target keep their weight away and hit a little bit behind the ball and almost always curve those to the right. Meanwhile, the best golfers will not necessarily move their entire hips towards the target. That's certainly not what our, our data is suggesting to actually try to move as far as you can towards the target, but a couple inches towards the target in the backswing and continuing to try to move your hips further towards the target at impact is a really nice way to start to swing to the right, which is half of the battle and slicing the ball and hit in front of it every time. It's interesting, so this really, it's quantified, it's truth, it's not opinion, which uh, a lot of golf instruction has been based yeah. around for many years. Yeah, and it's just having the ability and the actual technical measurements that we're able to have in every single lesson that allow us to do this. Many instructors are just left with watching someone and that's just not gonna get the job done anywhere near as quickly as being able to quantify what you do and start to derive the actual representation of a nice swing. Excellent, so where does Swing True go from here? Sure, so we've just started with these six motion measurements. We'll add some more as we're able to measure more swings. I'm a huge fan of measuring the left wrist conditions while you swing, and also watching the ball flight. So uh, worse golfers tend to start the ball pretty straight, maybe a little to the right on average, and curve it further to the right. We'll quantify that. Whereas your best golfers hit the ball relatively straight, and we'll put some mo motion measurements to those as well. It sounds like exciting times ahead Absolutely. and it's all about facts, right? Just getting started. Swing better. Play better. Golf Tech.